I let the driving at Audi started pretty early. The technical system takes over the responsibility for the driving task. Piloted driving is one of the most important development areas for us. Everything started with an Audi TTS on the Salt Lakes. The next challenge was to race the Pikes Peak, a very famous racetrack in the US. We went on with parking systems. Our newest system will be the Staupilot. And starting from this history, we're now extending this and doing the racing on Hockenheim Ring and in Oschersleben. We took a basic RS7 and then we added the intelligence to the car. The RS7 drives on the level of a race pilot. We have the most sporty piloted car in the world. Welcome to Cape Town and welcome to the very loud, very fast, moderately expensive Audi RS7. Using an engine shared with cars like the Bentley Continental, a good dose of aluminium to keep the weight down and quattro drive, this could be the fastest accelerating four-door car ever. On paper, this car does 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds. Now that's very fast, that is super car fast. But what does that feel like? And to show you, what I did was pick this car up yesterday and then never use full throttle. I hope you appreciate how much self-restraint that took. And now I'm on a clear road in Cape Town and we're going to do a full bore start. And then we're going to record my face. So here we go. Traction control into sport mode. Gearbox into sport mode. Left foot on the brake. Hold it nice and tight. Floor the throttle. <laughs> the reason this car can accelerate like that and reach over 300 kilometers an hour is because of that engine. It's a four liter V8 with two turbochargers. Now, Audi didn't just pick up a V8 that they had lying around the factory floor and fit two blowers onto it. No, no, no. This engine has been designed from the ground up to be a twin turbocharged engine and it's quite special. This car has about the same power as a Ferrari 458, 412 kilowatts in this, 417 in the Ferrari. But this will set you back 1.45 million Rand, which means you get a lot of power for your money because the Ferrari will set you back about 4 million Rand. So in terms of price per kilowatt, this is a supercar bargain. A characteristic of most normal supercars is that they are very cramped and that's usually because the engine is taking up all the space over here. But the Audi RS7 has its V8 all the way under the bonnet obviously so that leaves a lot of car for people and things. In fact you get such a big boot that you can very easily fit a Tiger in there. And if you make just a few small adjustments you can get all sorts of things in here.
Can't think of many supercars that you can slide a kayak into. As you might expect from an Audi of this caliber, the interior is quite special. I'm not mad about the cream color, but all the leather work is beautifully crafted. The screen gymnastics are a highlight of the dashboard. It raises automatically on startup, or at the touch of a button, you can hide it away. This will impress your friends. The thing is, even though this car is so brutally fast, it doesn't feel like it is. In fact, it's extremely comfortable. Even though it's riding on 21 inch wheels, those are massive. I do love the sound of this thing though. It's such a dirty V8 growl. And I really do think the engineers went to Johannesburg and heard some of our thunderstorms and thought, yes, yes, that's what we wanted to sound like. We found a new RS7 to sound like a high felt thunderstorm. The thing is, this isn't a supercar. Yes, it has the power and yes, it has the speed, but living with a supercar is like having a friend who comes around to your house, flirts with your wife, teaches your kids how to hit the perfect cover drive, sets a large portion of your garden on fire, and then does a massive burnout in your driveway when it leaves. Whereas it feels like the Audi RS7 will come around to your house and do your tax returns very quickly and then start on the dishes because it got bored. You want to hate real supercars, you really do, but you can't. They're just too lovable. And I know which one I'd rather have.